access with Helpoint. Showing you how to improve access to your digital world. Overview. Student workers, tutors, test proctors, and other support staff in disability offices often need a brief training on the operations of various assistive technologies. They need to know how to start and stop a software and often they are asked to assist students when the tech person is not around. We hope you can benefit from this presentation. Start, Stop, and Quiet Jaws. How to start, stop, and make Jaws behave. Jaws is a software that is actually job access with speech. And we are using version 16 or 15 on campus, depending on what computer you're on. To start it, you can press the keystroke, Control and Alt, which you hold down and press J, or you can double click the icon on the desktop. JAWS Professional. When JAWS comes up, it says JAWS Professional, and you know it's running. It will either be put here on the task tray, or it's going to be put over here overflow. on the system tray and it will show up as a little icon here when you want to end your session with JAWS you can simply right click the icon menu to move through items press up or down close arrow window, leaving menus with JAWS dive. and click OK the most important part of that is to know that when it's talking and you don't want to listen to it you just tap the control key Navigating the desktop, reading in Word, and operating in the Ribbon. Students new to JAWS may need some support for navigating a Windows desktop environment, running Word, and reading a file. They may also forget how to operate a menu. When you're working with someone using JAWS, they should be trained how to do most of the operations in JAWS and so your knowledge of this program is dependent upon what tasks you're having to do and in this case I'm just going to teach you some of the simple aspects of using JAWS the first thing you need to know is that a person who is blind is going to navigate from a certain location in the computer most often by going to the Windows menu and so they're going to press the key between control and alt keys on the bottom left corner of your computer keyboard menu search box edit type text and once this comes in they know exactly where they're at they can type in the name of the program they want to run or they can use the arrows and go through the programs that are listed they can navigate down to all programs by using the arrows and then pressing right arrow to go to the sub menus but in this case we're just going to press the escape key escape leaving menus start button and now we have our position right on the bottom left hand start button so we're going to press tab from there tab taskbar jerry brown dash wikipedia it's going to go to the taskbar then it's going to go to the system tray tab notification chevron button to and then it's going to go to the desktop. Tab. Show desktop button to activate. Press space bar. Tab. Desktop. Folder view. List view. Sample book chapter. And so I'm at the book chapter I want to work on. I can use my arrow keys. My CSULA portal. Kurzweil 3000 pending audio. My CSU sample book chapter. And once I get to the, the selection I want, I just press enter. Enter. It opens up the sample, book sample. Dot, dot. and I'm having to press the control key because JAWS is designed to read the screen to the person. And in this case, I'm teaching 
people who have vision on how it will work so they understand how to navigate in JAWS while they're looking at Word or web pages. And so in this basic lesson, we're just going to talk about how to read a document and also how to use some of the menu items on the software that we're in currently. So if you press the arrow keys on either the numerical keypad or the regular arrow keys, you can navigate down. And so I'm going to press 2 on the numerical keypad. Heading level 1, chapter 6. And it also read to me that this is a heading. So this particular title here has been given heading level 1. And so if I go down again. The Dream Tree by Daniel Nevins. If the mind which rules the body ever forgets itself. Again, I press control to quiet it down. So now if I use the 6 key or the 4 key, it's going to move character by character left and right. 6 is right. F space T H E. And if I go back with 4. H T space if I hold down the insert key on the numerical keypad and press 6, it's going to move word by word. The mind, comma, which rules. If you want to navigate up to a previous paragraph, you press the 8 key. By Daniel Nevins. And down is with the 2 key. If the mind, which rules the... If you want to read the entire selection, in this case we have 27,000... 513 words and 51 pages, I just press insert and 2 and it will go and read the entire document to us. So that's the basic reading elements with JAWS and one more element that I wanted to talk about is how to get to the ribbons or the menus. You press the alt key upper ribbon home tab to change ribbon and it again pops up a series of letters that I can press to get to different portions. So if I want to go to page layout, I can press P. P. Page layout tab to change rib. And once that pops up, I can then press another letter, such as M for margins. M. Lower ribbon. Page setup group box. Margin. And then I can use my arrow keys. List box narrow top colon 0 0.5 quote bottom colon zero. And it reads me the specifics of that margin setting. If I want to get out of that, I press Escape key. Escape menu, lower ribbon, page setup, group box, margin, submenu. What you might think that someone who is blind isn't going to be able to see those letters. And of course they can't. And so basically they memorize these keystrokes. And that is how they navigate through the ribbons and understand how to set parameters inside Word and do commands such as print and save and so forth. And so that's the basics for this um, interaction of JAWS with Word. Leaving menus, leaving menus. Navigational controls for JAWS. Navigation in JAWS uses the 10 key on this standard keyboard. Navigation controls for JAWS. The JAWS key, when used with the arrow keys, can help you navigate the reading of a document. Using 8, 4 and 6, and 2, you can move through a document and read using the JAWS key. Typing in Word, printing and saving. Students should know how to type in Microsoft Word and save documents and print them. You may need to change the printer settings to another printer as well. We're working with JAWS and we're in Microsoft Word. First thing we're going to do is Type document some text. Word, print view, edit. 
If you press insert in T, it tells you the name of the document. Title is document one dash word, print view. And currently, when I start typing, it's going to come up with whatever the default setting is for JAWS. Um, you can press insert and two. Words. Both characters and words. None. Characters. And set it to four different settings. We're now at characters. T A E space O L D space A N space R A N space O U E space O space E E space W A A T space A E space C A M O T I O N space A S period space L I T T L E space D D space A E space A N O double space A A T space A I S space D O G space A A D space J U S T space D I E D period now, if I want to type more, but just listen to the words, I'll press insert and two. Words. Space. He. Was. Hard. Stricken. Period. You can navigate back and listen to what you had. Like... When you read a document, you can use the insert 4, 6, 8, and 2 and move through the text and go through and make edits. You can spell check it and so forth. But what we're going to do next is save the file. So you can go off the ribbons or you can just press Control S. Control S, backstage view, file, save as tab. And it's going to bring up this screen where the student can select whether they're going to save to the desktop or to a flash stick or to a certain folder and so their navigation is with tab key or arrow keys and so we're just going to press tab key tab saving features computer tab pick a folder group box computer recent folders desktop buttons so it's already on the desktop where we're going to save this file save as dialog and it usually puts the first line of text in if you have not already created a title for the document and you can just type right over that. The dog. The dog press, press center. Docs. It's very simple to print. You press control P. Backstage view. And again I can press the tab key. It's already set to print on a printer called snag it 11 I need to change that setting so I'm going to press tab tab copies colon edit spin box one. it goes to the spin box for how many copies then I press tab again tab printer and it's now set for me to press the down arrow to get into the listing list box snag it 11 I can go up set arrow until I get to the Q correct -A -T -L -C printer. printer I press enter backstage view print pr and then I can press Shift and Tab. Shift Tab. Copy Shift Tab. Print button to add. Until I get to the Print button. And then I can press Enter. And print it, view, sends, edit. it sends the document to the printer. So those are some of the simple commands using JAWS. Recording dot dot dot. Ensuring network access. Student AT software like JAWS requires network access. Student support staff need to check that the network cable is properly connected at the wall and at the computer. We're in one of the testing rooms. Support staff have to bring people over here for different purposes, tutoring, study rooms and also for exam taking and so we're looking at the ethernet port for jaws and magic which are licensed off the server the ethernet port has to be connected the back of the computer you will see there's a light where the cable comes in that's 